guys, I am here today with the first hour mixed media moods project of the year and I'm super excited to be back. So we have this lovely mood board from Jen Engel. She's put together a very um, monochromatic neutral tone board which is right up my alley. Plus it has tons of texture in it. There's some twigs and some stitching and it looked like some wax and caustic type stuff going on. So I started out where I love to start out with collaging and you know depending on what project I'm working on my collage isn't even always seen in the end but it's a place I like to start. I love collaging. I love collecting vintage papers and I have um, like tons of ephemera and I love trading ephemera. Hey, if you're out there and you want to trade ephemera from your part of the country or your part of the world, I love trading ephemera. So hit me up and we'll see what we can do. Um, so this piece of paper, it's just a piece of cardstock and it's uh, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cut in half. It's what I like to jelly print on, and I just have a stack of them. And I thought, this is kind of a cool size, and I don't really work in it all that often outside of jelly printing. So I grabbed it, and it, it's like an, like a large postcard. It's very cool, and you can see it in um, relation to my palette knife in my hands. It's a very nice size. So I used some YooHoo, and I collaged all my all my papers, different scraps and things. Um, I have some Russian book text in there. There's some English book text. I have an old tag. And then I have this little piece of ledger paper that I actually rusted. And um, you can check out for some really fun things coming to Unwild Studio soon. We're moving into digital images, which you'll see on this project. And we'll have um, also some some rusted items actually I'm really excited okay I don't want to tell you too much because it might be a few weeks out still but you keep your eye on Unwell Studio and you'll see stuff that's coming up so after I had all my all my um, papers collaged down then I used some gesso Liquitex gesso and I scraped it across the surface to pick up some of the texture then I was checking back on the mood board and there's this like delicious section I think in the bottom left hand corner of this very like vivid kind of rusty color and uh, so I decided to get out my quinacridone nickel azo gold uh, by golden my fluid acrylic and I added some color to my project and now I'm go going in with the stabilo and kind of darkening up some areas and just doing some scribbly kind of mark making stuff it's exciting I I think like a lot of other people um, I, we kind of struggle a little bit with fine arts versus like paper craft, the paper crafting industry. And so I don't know where I was going with that, but oh, so I've really been like practicing my mark making lately and I've been trying to be more honest with myself and what I want to make. But I'm trying not to lose myself from paper crafting too because I do enjoy paper crafting. Uh, I put down some masking tape and then this is one of the digital images hint hint wink wink oh I'm so excited I've been collecting images for a long time to kind of dabble and uh, get into get into digitals I want to offer digitals I want to print them and use them in my art and uh, they I have like an incredible selection of vintage images this one is of a schoolhouse the front of a schoolhouse and there's a giant class classroom four it says so on the picture. Um, and so I printed it on my inkjet printer. Let me see. Do I have that right? Laser. No, on my laser jet printer. I printed it on my laser jet printer. And I'm using some golden fluid matte medium. I put it down on my page. And then I put some on the picture. And then I put the picture down. And I burn the two wet areas. The the two sides that have matte medium on them. And I love Golden's Fluid Matte Medium. I buy it in almost the largest container that it comes in. The really big one I can't handle very well. I have kind of small dainty hands. Um, but I guess maybe not dainty, <laughs> but they're small. So I can't really handle a lot of big containers. Um, but I buy the Golden Fluid Matte Medium in the biggest container that I can handle because I love it. I use it all the time. And I'm just working my image transfer. So I'm using water after I oh I burnished the image down after the two glued sides, the matte medium sides were touching. I burnished it down and then I let it sit for a very long time. 
Um, I gave it like hours because I really wanted it to have a really good connection, a really good bond to the ink. And um, then I also used a heat gun periodically through the couple hours. Then I, after everything was dry, I came in and I used water in my fingers to remove the paper layer so that only the ink layer remained. And then as um, when I thought that maybe I was done, then I dried it and I could see that there was still some paper because it became cloudy and foggy again. So then I put more water and worked some more on the image to get all the paper off. Then as a last kind of little hurrah step, I covered the whole entire Oh, excuse me, I covered the entire thing in matte medium. And then that also soaks into any of the fibers that might be left in the picture and makes them clear so that then you have a really nice, perfect image transfer, or as perfect as can be. Um, I also did some mark making with a graphite pencil, and now I have this little stick. Uh, I really loved that section of Jen's mood board. It kind of looked like it might be some cool binding on a book. How cool would that be? This would make a great book cover or something like that too. Uh, but as it sits right now, it's just a sweet little finished piece of artwork. So I'm doing some stitching to put to hold my stick in place, and I'm using a tandy leather needle and some stark white DMC floss. And I'm just kind of stitching it sporadically, trying to kind of spread it out and, and just make it look um, interesting but not perfect. Like I didn't want my stitches to be perfect. I kind of want them to be a little screwball -y there. And then I'll stitch that into place and knot it so that that's permanent. And I do have to be careful because, um, oh, I, I did sew also around the edges with a black thread. And so now that paper has gotten slightly weak in that area with all that perforation. So I, I have to be careful when I'm kind of pulling on it. And then same here. So now I'm going to be doing some French knots. And I posted on Instagram that French knots make my heart sing because they really do. I love using them for all kinds of things. And I know that a big portion of the French knot use in embroidery is for like flowers and things like that. And so I had this idea when I was looking at my project, what if these French knots were sort of like little buds or leaves, like a cherry blossom at the end of my stick. So that was really cool. So that's what I was aiming for there. And then I knew that the back of my project was getting kind of weak. And actually now that I have it finished and everything's like dried, I will probably mount it to like a piece of chipboard or something so that it has some stability behind it and then I'll use a lot of glue on the back but you can see there I was just securing everything with some matte medium and some tape and then I have these um, amazing little words I have a whole book based on art history that's really old so it's from I don't even know maybe from like the 30s or the 40s and it's just like an educational book about art history so it has all these very like it's there's like no color to it it's just this is the information about art history. This is how it happened. So I get to pull really, really cool words and sentences from this project like this one, an observed origin in brush strokes. Now I did have to kind of piece it together myself, but I have lots of really cool words in this book. It's my, it's my little go-to. <laughs> so I did put that on with some matte medium and I'm really loving this piece. I hope you love it as much as I do. Be sure to join us at our Mixed Media Moods. Um, you can enter and share your projects, and it's really just a place for all of us to sort of get together. And Jen and I, and I really like to um, beef up our YouTube channels and just share with you guys all the mixed media that we love to do. So definitely check out Jen's project. Uh, at the end of mine, I did a little bit of mark making off camera, but I felt like that was okay. It's nothing really like... Ooh, uh, innovative. Um, I did some little circles and some little cross marks. So thanks again for joining me. Join our Facebook group. Join our newsletter. All of that kind of stuff. And uh, I can't wait to see what you create. Subscribe and you'll see what I create next. Thanks for joining me. Bye.